Give me all the coffee! <sighs> ah, I'm human again. <laughs> Hello friends, it is Allison from Wonderlast.com and welcome back to the plan and organize the shiz out of your biz video series. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to structure and plan a productive work day the night before so that you can be focused, maximize your time, and of course, grow your business faster. Now I already did a video on how to plan a productive work schedule on the monthly and weekly level and that would be the prerequisite to today's video for truly planning a productive work day. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, I will link it right there above. Hopefully it is appearing right before your very eyes, but I encourage you to check that out as soon as you are done watching this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little ding ding bell because I put out new videos every single Wednesday and you do not want to miss them and if you don't hit the subscribe and the bell then you are most certainly going to miss them and you don't want to do that now do you of course not now back to how to structure and plan a productive workday of the night before but on a side note before you start your planning for the next day you're gonna want to make sure you do these four things first if you haven't done them already number one determine when you feel the best because ultimately it would be ideal to try and work your schedule around when you actually feel the best because I know for me that I tend to feel my best in the morning late morning early afternoon so I try to schedule my most important tasks like content creation around the time where I'm actually feeling good as opposed to 5 p.m. when I'm starting to lose my steam and my brain is starting to become a big ball of mush and it's just farting its head off. So take a second to determine when you feel your best. Number two, set your office hours. Hurry up airplane, I'm trying to film a video. Jeez. City sounds. And try to schedule them around when you feel the best if possible. Now I know for everyone that's not going to be possible, but if it is possible, try to schedule them around when you feel the best. But if you want to maintain any sort of work-life balance, which I personally think is a must, super important, then you want to set office hours when you're going to be working and when you're not going to be working. Thing number three is that you need to communicate your office hours with the people that are close to you and your clients. It is important for them to know as well when you're going to be working, when you're available, when they can contact you, when they can't contact you, when they shouldn't interrupt you. You've got to set those boundaries. Thing number four that you need to do before you start planning is to actually pick out a planner or calendar system that works for you. I don't care if you're not a planner person, this is a must. Otherwise, you're gonna be a big, big, big hot mess. Two of my absolute favorite digital calendars are Trello and Asana. They are both free, so check them out. If you're looking for a tangible planner, then there's a million of those that exist. Find the one that works best for you. However, I've also got my very own planner that I've created specifically for online business owners, which is available for sale on my site. I will link to that in the description below if you want to check it out. that if you want to get planned and organized and be more efficient in your business and actually grow your business more effectively, then you got to find a planner system that works for you. Once you've got your office hours set and communicated and you have found a planner system that works for you, here is how you can plan and structure a productive workday of the night before in six easy steps. Ooh, six! Step number one, get clear on the number one most important task for the day. Not sure what the Sam Hill is the most important task. It all comes down to the big picture and the main business goals that you got for your business this year. So that is why I mentioned that other video I created on how to plan your productive work schedule because you're going to get clear on all of that. So be sure to check that out. I will also link to it in the description below. Step number two to planning a productive work day the night before is to block out your time for the entire day, prioritizing your most important task first. And please remember to overestimate your time. Give yourself more time than you think you're going to need. 
need. You think you're gonna take 15 minutes? Give yourself 30 minutes. You think you're gonna take 30 minutes? Give yourself an hour. Get the idea? So for example, I usually schedule my most important task for the day first thing in the morning from about 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And that's also when I feel the most fresh. You also want to block out time for people activities. Things like meetings, calls, interviews, checking your email. You do not want to be doing these types of activities all day throughout the day because I'm telling you right now that is one of the biggest productivity killers. Plus, your brain has to switch gears every time that you switch tasks like that and you're going to be losing a whole lot of time to context switching. Yes, that is a real thing context switching. It's when your brain has got to play catch up for like 20 minutes every single time you switch a task. So for example, you could reserve the second half of your day for people related tasks, but you need to separate your people time and your deep work time while you're actually blocking out your day. Isn't this whole blanket wrap thing like real classy? It's like my classy work attire. Oh. Step number three is to build in 10 to 15 minute breaks in between your time blocks. These act as little buffers for your time blocks and we're not robots. In order to be your most productive, you need to feel good mentally and physically. The better you feel, the better you're gonna perform. And likewise, the crappier you feel, the crappier you're gonna perform. You do not wanna go straight from one thing to the next without a little break to recharge, which leads me to step number four, create an alarm for hourly quickie breaks. So literally set a timer on your phone to go off every single hour and no matter what you are doing, when that alarm goes off, you take just one to three minutes to stand up, stretch, go to the bathroom, get a drink, go pee, meditate, close your eyes, I don't know, do what you gotta do to keep feeling fresh. I started doing this about a year ago and it is so helpful for making your body and your mind feel refreshed throughout the day as opposed to reaching the end of the day when you realize you just plowed through 12 hours without taking a break and now you feel like crap. So for example, if you've got a three hour time block reserved from say 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. to work on one of your tasks, then you are going to want to get up every hour for one to three minutes during that time block to take a very quick break. Remember, the better you feel mentally and physically, the better that you're gonna perform. And taking these little mini breaks every hour are gonna help. Step number five, commit to killing distractions. Yes, I am literally asking you to kill distractions. Embrace your inner serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> this video just took a very dark turn, sorry about that. But I'm passionate about you actually killing distractions! I mean, you can plan out the most productive day ever, but if you do not commit to killing distractions on a daily basis, then that can all go down the toilet within a matter of seconds once you get caught up in the social media black hole, or the email black hole, or the let me just watch one more YouTube video black hole. There are so many black holes to get lost in, and you need to commit to killing those distractions if you truly want to plan a productive work day. So for me, I do not keep any tabs open on my computer that are not directly related to the work that I'm doing, which means that all social media tabs and all unrelated tabs are closed. I do not have email notifications turned on. I do not have any notifications turned on on my phone. In fact, the sound on my phone is turned off and my phone is sitting out of reach face down so I cannot see it. The only way for calls to go through on my phone is if someone literally calls me four times in a row, in which case it activates that little emergency thing and the call will go through. But I have become ruthless about distractions and as a result, my time is way better spent, I get way more done, and I didn't just waste 10 million hours scrolling through Instagram. And the last step. Hold on, hold on. I've gotta have more coffee first. <laughs> step number six, set an alarm to go off 30 minutes before the end of your workday because you know you already set those office hours so you should have a set time of when you're gonna stop working. And yes, it's another alarm. But setting an alarm to go off 30 minutes before the end of your workday is going to help you start winding down and tying up any and all loose ends that need to be tied before you can call it a day. This alarm is gonna help you maintain that work plus life balance by letting you know, why hello there. You're scheduled to get off in 30 minutes. I mean, it won't talk to you in that voice, but 
I mean, maybe it will. But it's like having your own personal secretary telling you that the office is closing in 30 minutes. Trust me on this one. In fact, trust me on all six of these steps. Try them out for a week and see how it goes. And there you have it. That is how to structure and plan a productive workday the night before in six easy steps. You did it. You should be proud of yourself. Time to celebrate with more coffee. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> And remember, the prerequisite to planning a truly productive day is knowing how to plan your work schedule on the bigger scale. So be sure to check out that video I've already mentioned multiple times on how to plan your work schedule in the comments below. No, not in the comments, in the description. In the description below. Speaking of the comments. <coughs> I want to hear from you. If you have any struggles or questions related to planning and organizing your business, please let me know in the comments below because I am quite literally creating these videos based off of your questions. So if you ask a question or you got a certain struggle, I can make a video about it and hopefully relieve that struggle. Or if you enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And of course, do not forget to hit the little subscribe button and the ding ding bell so you don't miss my weekly videos. I'm telling you, I got something real juicy planned for next week. Real juicy. Okay, well, I hate saying goodbye, so I'm just gonna awkwardly end this video right here, right now, okay? Mm.